the regular council meeting the Wayburn City Council held here, Council Chambers, 5 p.m. Tuesday, November 12th, day after Remembrance Day. The first item of business, and we welcome everybody. Uh, first off, uh, we have our junior mayor, Greg Weens, over here. He is uh, with our student council. He is the fill-in for the mayor, uh, and we welcome him here. And uh, don't be afraid. Raise your hand if you wish to make a comment about any of the stuff that's going on. First thing is the approval of the minutes of the regular council meeting and strategic planning and priorities meeting held October 28, 2019. And do I have a motion, please? I'll make that motion, Your Worship. Second. I'll second that, Your Worship. Discussion? Seeing none, call the question. All in favor? Carried unanimously. And just want to make note also, too, that we have two people missing here tonight. Mr. Wheeler was unable to uh, make it here tonight. And uh, Mr. Warren is away as the uh, city manager. And we have Laura Massal as our acting city manager here for this meeting. Any additions? Laura? Nothing from administration. Council? Nothing from council. Seeing none. Move forward to public hearings and notices, which are none. No delegations, proclamations, or petitions. Reports of standing committees, there are none. We have for a consent agenda, we have the utility report, cash, cash activity report, water treatment plant report, all seen on our website, uh, Wayburn City website. And at this point, I call for a motion, please. Your Worship, I'm pleased to make a motion that the items on the consent agenda be approved. Second. I'll second that, Your Worship. <clears throat> Discussion? Seeing none, call the question. All in favor? Carried unanimously. Motions. Counts payable, and if you would, please. Your Worship, I make a motion that the purchases in the amount of $773,313.69 from October 25th to November 7th, 2019, be approved. Second. I'll second that, Your Worship. Discussion? Seeing none, call the question. All in favor? Carried unanimously. Tax enforcement, six months' notice. Finance? So we have 25 properties that have taxes outstanding from the 2018 original rule. Um, as of April 9th, a lien was registered on these properties, and as for the Tax Enforcement Act, um, a six-month notice is being served to everyone that has an interest in the property. Um, this notice, it gives the, prop the owners six months to clear the arrears or to um, make an attempt to clear the, clear the arrears. After the six months, in May of 2020, a letter will be sent to provincial mediation to request consent of title if nothing has been done. Do you have with, a motion, please? Yes, we are sure. With that, I'd like to move that the city assessor be authorized to continue under Section 23 of the Tax Enforcement Act to serve six months' notices to all 25 properties that will that still have outstanding property taxes from the 2018 or original roll for a total of $176,707.58. As provided. Second? I'll second that, Your Worship. Call the question. Is this all out alarming, these, these uh, amount of properties that, that we have to serve this to, or is that pretty cool? No, I looked back last year, it was 20 properties, and it's comparable with the dollar amount. Thank you. Call the question. All in favor? Carried unanimously. We have an introduction of bylaws. We have amended the uh, airport bylaw. Director of Finance again, if you would, please. So on November 1st, the airport board reviewed this bylaw, and they are just looking to change some of the format to add uh, terms of reference. Um, one thing to ch they wanted to change was the board structure to change it from being um, one council member and six members at large to two council members, one member of the arm of Weyburn and four members at large. 
Your Worship, I'd like to make a motion that bylaw 2019-3403 to amend bylaw 2007-3090 being a bylaw to establish the Weyburn Airport Board be read a first time. Second. I'll second that, Your Worship. Discussion? Just out a point of clarification, I sit as chair on there, <clears throat> and as the times when Dick was on there, uh, we were, what was there, Mr. Fellner sat as a person at large, and he actually, he was representing the RM, so this was kind of a clarification, plus two, that they wanted a second council onto there, so onto that. Mr. Mitchell. Yes, I'd like to just, you might, Your Worship, the reason why Mr. Fellner was there, because they are, the airport is in the RM, and I had asked him to come and sit on the board, and we go, didn't go to the technicalities, but this obviously we're doing, which is a good idea. Yeah, it's, it's a bit, the airport's a bit of a bizarre thing because it is in the RM, yet it's our responsibility, yet there's taxes being paid to the RM, and so it's always a bit of a different setup onto there. Call the question, anything? Yeah, sorry, Your Worship, if I could ask you a question. Has the airport board seen this document, and, and are they comfortable with it? Yes. Okay. Because what we uh, we brought it forward the first time, and then we had it was a month for them to look at it. We just had our meeting. We saw it the second time. Everybody had a chance to read it, review it, and then and then it, it, that includes all the fees that we were talking about. It's the next bylaw change to it, and we're improving on to this. Okay. So, okay. Yep. Thank you. Call the question. All in favor? Carried unanimously. Your Worship, I'd like to make a motion that bylaw 2019-3403 to amend bylaw 2007-3090, being a bylaw to establish the Weyburn Airport Board be read a second time. Second. I'll second that, Your Worship. Discussion? Seeing none, call the question. All in favor? Carried unanimously. Your Worship, I'd like to make a motion that bylaw 2019-3403 to amend bylaw 2007-3090, being a bylaw to establish the Weyburn Airport Board be given three readings at this meeting. I'll second that. Call the question, all in favor? Carried unanimously. We can then now do a third reading. Go ahead. Your Worship, I'd like to make a motion that bylaw 2019-3403 to amend bylaw 2007-3090, being a bylaw to establish the Weyburn Airport Board be read a third time and passed. I'll second that. Call the question. All in favor? Carried unanimously. <clears throat> bylaw 2019-3400, Airport Board Fees. So at that same meeting on November 1st, um, they, they reviewed the um, rates and charges for the airport and they came up with a new three-year rate for the base fee. Um, these will start January 1st in 2020 to December 31st, 2022. And currently their rate of recovery that they um, try to operate as is 25% for their operating. So this will up the, it, this will change the fee to $1,000 per year, um, which was at nine, 950. And it'll go up $50 per year for the next three years. <coughs> Do you have a motion, please? Thanks, Your Worship. Uh, I make a motion that bylaw 2019-3400, a bylaw to regulate the use of the Weyburn Airport, be read a first time. Do you have a second? I'll second that, Your Worship. Call the question. All in favor? Or no? Any no questions? Any questions? Yes. Uh, yeah. Just um, Laura, was this uh, before? Was there a charge just for parking your airplane there? Uh, is that like the thousand dollars or if it's in a hangar was there a fee prior to this bill yep it was 950 sorry it was 950 oh it was yep. okay I actually I yeah, I, I, I'll, I'll clarify yep. that there I, I believe it was less than that on there Laura. But I think it was they were talking for just parking there mm -hmm. was something like it was a very it was very, was it a hundred dollars or is fifty dollars or fifteen dollars? It was something very very uh, low anyway, and they said that they wanted to, they they wanted to do it. It was almost a yearly. Thing. I think you're probably looking at the um, on a temporary basis. Yeah, that's the one. So it's a hundred dollars per month or fifty dollars per week or a thousand per year. That's and, what. It and, be, and before there was it was really low. It was almost next to nothing. 
yeah. so that we agreed yeah, okay. to that one. Yeah, no, that this this is base the thousand dollars is basically for people that are own the aircraft that are there, but we st still have a small fee for aircraft that come and stay the weekend. Is there? Okay, thank you. Call the question or any more discussion? No. Call the question. All in favor? Carried unanimously. Second. Yep. Your Worship, I'd like to make a motion to bylaw 2019-3400, a bylaw to regulate the use of the Wayburn Airport, be read a second time. Second. I'll second it, Your Worship. Discussion? See no, none? Call the question. All in favor? Carried unanimously. <coughs> Your Worship, I'd make a motion that bylaw 2019-3400, a bylaw to regulate the use of the Wayburn Airport be given three readings at this meeting. I'll second that, Your Worship. Call the question. All in favor? Carried unanimously. And Your Worship, I'll make a motion that bylaw 2019-3400, a bylaw to regulate the use of the Wayburn Airport, be read a third time and passed. I will second that, Your Worship. Discussion? Seeing none, call the question. All in favor? Carried unanimously. There's no unfinished business. New business, we have a request for a two for money out of the 2020 budget purchase or a clarifier for the way we're at the water treatment plant. Director? All right, so um, the background on this is on April 25th, 2019, the water treatment plant experienced a mechanical failure on the center drive for plant, the plant 200 clarifier. Um, this clarifier is quite old. It was installed in 1987. So in order to reinstate the operation quickly, they had to make some modifications. So now we're looking to repair it. Um, they've made, they've got a quote from a company out of the US. Um, it's a very, it's a specific part. It can't, it has to be like fabricated to fit this clarifier. So the total cost just for the equipment is gonna be 60,000 um, to install everything to install will be approximately 160,000, but what, what they're asking for is we'd like to get approval to um, have pre-budget approval to order the parts now because it's gonna take, could take up to 20 weeks to get these parts in. So they wanna be able to order them now and then be able to get them installed as soon as possible. So 60,000 is what it's gonna cost to just get the equipment ordered. So that's what um, engineering is asking. Do you have a motion, please? Your Worship, I'll make a motion that Council provide approval to administration for a 2020 budget expense in the amount of $60,000 to order the required parts from uh, Evoqua Water Technologies to perform repairs to the Plant 200 clarifier at the water treatment plant in 2020. I'll second that, Your Worship. Discussion? Go ahead. Thank you. Um, this sounds like a complicated part. It's an old one, but did we got some pretty good machinists in this community? Is that a is that in the taking, or is it beyond their capabilities? I believe it's beyond their capabilities, and this it's very specific, and this has to be custom made by this one company. Okay, uh, I yeah. I thought that would have been checked out, but I had to ask. <laughs> Any other questions? Seeing none, call the question. All in favor? Carried unanimously. <clears throat> in uh, uh, inquiries and announcements, Mr. Bailey? We're there already, <clears throat> Worship. Yeah, yes, we I'd are. just like to bring to people's attention that it's the uh, Family Place Christmas tree time of the year, November. And um, so anybody that is looking to put a tree up, they can go from the 18th of this month to the 20th, and that is at Barber Motors this year. And uh, so you can call Dawn at the family place or any one of the ladies over there and uh, make arrangements. But 18th to 20th is uh, set up, and then the tree auction is on November 28th. And that's at Barber Motors again. That is their big fundraiser for the year and it's always very, very well supported by this community and surrounding communities. And so I just wanna put it on your calendar and come and take part in it because it's just not the uh, 
the auction night. It's it's all week long that you can participate in uh, helping that uh, organization out. So bring it to your attention. It's November. Very good. <laughs> There's also uh, one of the other things. Is there anybody else that wish to have anything? There's one of the other things that, uh, and maybe I'll put Adam on the spot if he knows uh, there. Uh, the I believe it is the chamber who's going to be doing kind of like the festival of lights in the park. Do you know something about that, Mr. Bailey? I know a little bit about it because we've spoken for a spot for it, and uh, so I don't know the dates and everything because, uh, but maybe Adam, Adam does would, probably. Please. All I know is yeah, I seen would. that out at um, um, this last winter, a year ago, out in Sylvan Lake, I believe, we were visiting, and what they do on their lakefront there is impressive. So we can uh, grow into that, I'm sure. Go ahead, Adam. So yeah, the, the Chamber of Commerce is going to be uh, putting on the Festival of Lights, and it's gonna be taking place at Riverside Park. I do believe that that is going to be kicked off December 5th, and it's gonna be running the whole month long for Christmas. So basically, you're, you're gonna buy, you can rent, how much did it cost you to rent a spot, do you know? You okay. sit on that committee. And first of all, I wanna thank the chamber, chamber and Tourism for coming up with this great idea, it is fantastic. Uh, a little bit of history, there's 27 sites over there, and at our, at our last meeting there was 20 or 21 already spoken for. There's no cost to anybody. There's organization, there's businesses participating in that. The snow removal will be removed by the city of Waverly through the trails. We will not come into the sites because of wires and stuff. I don't know if you'll be able to, to, to walk through there, but you certainly can, you can park. I mean, you not, you can't probably drive through there, I'm sorry. You certainly can walk through there. It's gonna run almost a month. And I think it's a very exciting times, uh, other than just having, having RVs in there. And again, I thank the chamber for that great idea, tourism that'll bring people in there and the support that we have already is unbelievable. Todd, so, Todd Walkington could probably feed you more information. Right, and, and basically what it is is that on each one of the campsites, uh, different groups and organizations. Uh, yes. Do you, can you explain that, Adam, if you yeah. would, please? So. Yeah, so there's going to be different businesses that are partaking in that, and there's going to be different displays on each one of the sites. They're going to be able to, to put up a holiday display for everybody to come and check out. And they'll all be lit at night and full Every, light? Everything and will all be lit at night, and everything's going to be, we recommend that everything be on timers just so it turns off during the day, because obviously we don't need the lights on during the day. But Mr. yeah. Mr. Your Worship, this would be a good time to have those lights behind the Pioneer statue, right? That's correct. And there, yes, and we have to make sure that we keep asking parks to uh, get that, uh, all those lights up on there, if nothing else. So we need to have those behind the statue. There this, this is unofficial, but I think some evenings, if it's not 40 below, <coughs> that certain groups are planning to be down there and having hot chocolate and stuff set up. So, uh, yeah. And uh, so there's a whole bunch of activities. I think various groups are going. So uh, I'm excited uh, for the city for this. Well, it's very good, and it's nice to see the city is all coming out, and hopefully it'll be decent enough weather so nobody's sitting in 40 below weather at this time. So thank you. Any other announcements, inquiries? There's no notice of motion. So seeing that we have no notice of motion, we have come to the end of the meeting and we will call this meeting adjourned.